What is going on guys, it is John again from Random Chivos and today we have a bit of a different video than what you're usually used to on the channel. I actually want to go over some little bit of information that I kind of figured out for why No Man's Sky was having so many issues when it first came out on PC and is still having issues now where a lot of people can't even play the game. There's a lot of FPS problems, it's very laggy, staggering, all these problems the game's been having. It wasn't optimized properly upon release. But until they actually come out with a patch to fix all these things, there actually are a few steps that you can take to hopefully be able to limit the FPS problems that you're having. Now, unfortunately, this will not fix, at least I don't think it will fix uh, crashing of the game. So if you are having this problem, I would recommend at least updating your NVIDIA driver or AMD driver, whatever you might have. And if that doesn't work, then really, I don't really have an answer for you. And I apologize ahead of time. I don't want to waste your time with the video if that's what you think it's about. But what we can do in here is fix, fix the problem where we're having capped FPS. For my example, I was stuck at 30, and the game would drop way below that sometimes. And it was actually just quite annoying. It was basically unplayable. It was so laggy for me. Uh, and with this simple step, you can actually get it back to the power of your graphics card and be able to get a smooth FPS, whether if it's 60, 70, whatever it might be. Um, so anyways, we're going to go through those simple steps right now. And the first thing you got to do is actually locate the game files of the game itself on your computer. Now the easiest way to do that is to go into Steam, find the game right here in your library, go to Properties, and then Local Files, and then Browse Local Files, and this folder will pop up. Now what you want to click in is Binaries, Settings, and then you're going to come across three MXML files. Now what we're looking for is TK Graphics Settings right here. So just simply open it up, and you're going to find some formats that you might have noticed within the graphics setting of the game itself. Now, unfortunately, there's two values in here that they do not offer, and that is V-Sync and G-Sync. I'm sure many of you have heard of these before. Now, by default, they're set to true. Now, what you want to do is set them both to false. Now, as soon as I did this, my game ran so much smoother, so I would just try it out. If you don't like it, you can always switch it back. It's no big deal. But once you've changed it, don't forget to press File and Save, and then go ahead and quit out of it. Now, from there, all you have to do is go test the game out. You can load it back up. I'm not going to. There's no point. And then you should have no problem at all. If you were having a cap FPS before, it should go up to, I guess, whatever your graphics card is capable of. I really do think the game still needs a bit of optimization. So it might not be quite uh, to the power that you might be expecting from it. But anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you out and you get the game to run a little bit better. A lot of people were asking me questions on the live stream. So I hope this helps. And thanks again for watching. And I will see you guys in the next No Man's Sky video.